In today's video, we're meeting up with Carlos. He's someone that lives here in Miami, and he has two garages full of old school cars. He has two Volkswagens, he has an original Mustang GT, he has an Impala, Viper, Corvette, and I cannot wait to show you guys his car collection. With that being said, if you guys like this video, like always, drop a big like, and if it is your first time passing by the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, here we got a 1956 Volkswagen uh, Beetle. It's an oval window. It's, um, the color is an original color in 1956. It was only done in one year, 1956. Um, it's, uh, we put our Porsche wheels on it. We give it a nice little stance. You know, the white uh, tires in the rear. It sits pretty good. It's green and green inside. The bug has been gone through a full restoration. As you can see, full, full, full restoration. The engine is a uh, 1200cc. Uh, I believe it's 42 horsepower or 45 horsepower. Also with uh, factory specs, which is how it came from factory. All the hard lines, no rubber lines. One of my favorite books I ever owned. Here we also have a 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. It's an original paint, original top, original interior. The only thing it's not original about this car is the actual wheels and the little plat that we put right there. Everything else is original. Very nice uh, drivable car. Yeah, no rust. These cars are going up in value every year. So, and it's also really hard to find one in good condition. Very nice drivable car. And then this side, we have my 1971 C10. It's on a air ride. It's got a tub in the bag. This car came from California. It's topped in the bag completely. Um, custom frame. It's an original color that they come with, but I don't think it's an original color from factory. And it's sitting on Acura. Yeah, sitting on Acura, correct. It's got a nice stereo system. You don't see it but it's under the seat, but it's there. Yeah, it's got a 350 motor, nothing, you know, crazy. It drives around, it's a nice cruiser. You know, it's nothing to go fast or anything like that. It's got a nice stance, it sits right. Frame lays down on the ground. No rust either. I was one and one, so. I found it in California. And he, here we have one of my favorite Impalas, which is a 1961 Impala, the famous bubble top. This is an original paint and an original interior. This car has never been painted. The interior has never been painted. Never been redone, okay? The only thing that it was done on this car, was, once again, we did um, Acura Air. We went with a set of 18 inch in the front, 20 inch in the rear uh, wheels, full wheels, okay? Which now we're changing them to different setups now. We're just waiting to get here. Uh, yeah, it's open. It's, um, it's got an LS motor. This drives like a brand new car, very quiet car, AC. Um, you can practically go anywhere with this car. It makes no noise whatsoever. You know, this LS is, is the way to go. Nowadays, you know, you have an LS, it's 
you know, if you can put an LS in every classic car you got, to me, it's the way to go. This is a 1995 Nissan 240. It's actually the, my race car. It was built by AD Turbo Abeto. You know, it makes a pretty good power. You know, it's a NHRA uh, certified. It's got a roll cage. It's got a parachute. Uh, it has a parachute in the back too? Yeah, it's got a parachute in the back. You know, it's a certified car to go seven seconds. You know, carbon fiber hood. It's got a 2J motor, 2JZ, which is the one that they use for the Supras. Uh, this car is a pretty fast car. Yeah. Up here we have, I believe, the lowest mileage 01 in the country. It's a 2010 01 with every single option. It's $137,000 from factory. Believe it or not, uh, this car comes with a carbon fiber hood carbon fiber fenders, carbon fiber top. Um, the car, for being a 2010, only has 320 miles. It's an average of around 18 miles a year. Wow. And you bought it with that mileage? I bought it from a friend that, yes, he's the original owner. The car still has an original title, original battery, original tires, original oil. Everything is original on that car. That car has not been touched. That car, those cars come with a defect, uh, a, a, a defect from factory, which is when the manifold goes in, when the air intake goes in, there's a, a metal clamp. The metal clamps with the years, they get rusted. What a lot of people do is they change those clamps. I didn't, I left it how it, come, how it is. It's a factory clamp, it's a little rusted, but just, that's just the way they are that's from factory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with the new ones with the mid-engine now. Mm -hmm. So, and here is, uh, we have a 2002 GTS Viper. They only make 337 of them. This is 332. Okay, and it's a nice car too. I always wanted one. They're going up in value like crazy also. So, you know, I was able to get my hands in one and there you go. I, I love that color. It was either red and white or the yellow, yellow and black. You know, you gotta have a Viper in red, in my opinion. So, and that's the way it goes. And now that we have two more cars, we have a Mustang and we also have It's a 1990 Fox Body Mustang, all original. It's set the wheels and tires. It's unmolested. That means that it's never been cut. The engine is still a factory motor. Um, hard to find those cars nowadays, that condition, because everybody gets them from drag racing and they usually cut. That's never been cut. That's just how it came from factory. They, they tub in the back. They put a bigger tire in the rear. So they cut it so you'd be able to fit a big tire in the rear so you'd be able to drag race the car. That's, when it went down. That's what I meant when it's cut. This is just how it came from factory. It's just, it's dust. The car has, I believe it has 70 or 75,000 miles. It's a 1990 Fox body. Yeah, the interior has never been touched. It's an original interior. Original color, original interior. Yeah. And this one here is my 55 Mercury Montclair. You know, it's, it was converted before. It was, it was like a rot rot kind of look. But uh, I didn't really like it when I first bought it. You know, it was completely restored, but they, that guy made it look into a rot rot. You know, making it look all rusted and stuff, but it was completely restored. And I didn't like it, so what I did is I painted it completely black, you know? And I just think it makes it look more classic, you know? I like it. This is not the actual exhaust, right? No. That's just a, uh, it, it's for sound, but it's not an exhaust. They use it back then for sound. It gives it a more of a, of a dark, like, you know, uh, sound, it makes it a lot stronger. Yes, it's a 60, 69. It's my 69, uh, 69, Mini Cooper. 69 Mini Cooper that I have just laying in here. The, problem, the thing about this car is that you cannot bring these cars into the country anymore. No. Not anymore. They stop. They don't let you bring them in anymore. So whoever has one, 
That's it. And that's when you imported from a from Yeah. We imported that car years ago. And uh, that's it. We can't bring any of those cars in anymore. Yep, a right hand drive car. I believe they're about 13s. I mean, let me see. Uh, yeah, they're 13s. Is that, it's my wife's car, that's what you see with the pink wheels. Uh, she always wanted one, that's her dream car. So I was able to get it for her. So, there you go. Ford GT. Here's uh, my 05 Ford GT, white with blue stripes. I believe they only made 499 or 500 of that color combo. Very, very rare car nowadays. Um, not the most comfortable car to drive. You have a lot of very, very uh, a lot of uh, uh, blind spots on the car. Um, it's got great handling. I mean, it was it was a race car from factory. Here we have my 2016 Porsche Turbo S. It's a no, very known car down here in Florida. I just use it for you know for racing. It makes pretty good power. I would say about there, yeah. So, it's a paint to sample color. It's called Golf Blue. So you gotta order that color. Uh, my 1951 Triumph. Very nice collectible bike. Fun bike. Go ahead, yeah. yeah. Esa, eso que tú ves ahí es el espejo. Mira, pon el espejo primero. Y lo vas a ver. Tiene un little scoop. Ese scoop va en el espejo. Put that in first para que no se te desaste. Así. El resto es miel. El resto ya. Así. All right, family, this is all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like always, let me know with a big like and leave your comments down below. If it is your first time passing by the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on social media at Generational School. Carlos, thank you so much for inviting us over to your house, spending time with us and showing us your amazing car collection. I'll see you guys on my next video. God bless you all. Adios.